So this is the solution to the HSC 2009 7B. Okay, so what's the period of the function? So the period for a sine function is 2 pi over n. So n in this case will be the number that is in front of the t. So n in this case will be um, pi on 6. So if you do 2 pi over pi on 6, that's 2 pi divided by pi on 6, which is basically 2 pi times 6 on pi. So 2 pi on 1, so that's 12 pi on pi. The pi's go out, so it would be 12. So that means that the period is basically 12. So it means after 12 seconds, it will repeat itself. Notice the domain is also from 0, um, zero to, to 12. So, okay, next part. Um, what is the value of h at low tide? And at what time do low tide occur? So the best way to attack this is actually to be able to sketch it. If you can sketch this curve, so you can sketch um, h equals 1 plus 0.7 sine pi on 6t. Now we know that when we are sketching this, we know that it does go um, between, um, we want it between 0 and, four, and 12. So we know it goes between 0 and 12. So we, it's a sine curve. So we know that the normal sine curve would have gone like that. If you, if we wanted to, like we could just do the normal one, like that's two pi 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 on two, and three pi on two. But we know with each of those we have to divide by uh, the thing in front of the x, which is the pi on six. So when we're doing that, we're dividing by pi on six. So that would have been pi on two times 6 on pi, the pi's go out, 6 on 2, which is 3. So instead of having um, pi on 2 there, you would have had 3. So that would be 3. And instead of having the pi, see pi divided by pi on 6, see it's pi times 6 on pi, the pi's will go out and you get 6. So instead of being pi there, it should be 6. And the 2 pi, we've already done that. That was 2 pi on pi on 6, and that ended up being 12. So this one, the pattern C3, 6, that should be 9 there. So that's our first, that's our first curve, and we know it goes between 0 0.7 to minus 0 0.7. And then what we need to do with that curve is we actually need to shift it up. So if we shift it up, it's got to go shift it up one. So when it shifts up one, let's just do it here and do it a bit neater. So I go 12, 0, 3, 6, and 9. The 0, that's 0 0.7, that's what it goes up to. One's there. So when I shift it up one, it will go up to um, 1.7. And if you did minus um, 0 0.7, the so minus 0 0.7 and you shift up one, that will go to 0 0.3, because 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3 is one. So it's shifted up one, so that means that it is oscillating about one. It starts at one, and it goes up 0.7 each time. So it goes up 0.7 there, comes down to 0.3, and then it goes back up to 0.7, okay, when it hits 12. So that's basically one period. So at 9, it would have been at 0.3. At 6, it would have been at 1 again. At 3, it's at 1.7. And at 1, it's at 6. So if you're looking at this, that would be low tide, and that would be high tide, and that would be mid tide, anything along there. So at what time is it at low tide? That would be after 9 seconds, and it is at 0 0.3 metres at that time. 
So the third part of this question says, a ship is able to pass the harbour uh, when it is at least 1.35 metres. Find all the times between 5 and 5, um, during between 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. on March 3rd, 2009, during which the ship is able to enter the harbour. So let's see. Now, between this is between 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. So that means that um, when you're looking at this here, if we look at the graph, um, the first time here, that would be your 5 a.m. So like that's 5 a.m. it is at mid-tide. And it is able to pass the harbour when the height is 1.35 metres. So 1.35 metres would be somewhere here. So it will pass the hut there and there. That is when it's able to pass. So... Um, that means that what we need to do is we need to make 1.35 equal 1 plus 0.7 sine pi 6 on t. And we need to get those two times that are sitting there on the graph. Okay, so let's just solve this equation. So in order to solve it, you need to take one away. So you get 0.35 equals 0.7 sine pi on 6t. Then you divide by 0.7 and sine pi on 6t equals 0.35 divided by 0.7. That's actually a half. So sine is equal to half. That's in the first and second quadrant because it is positive. And that would be your first two times. So pi on 6t, when it is equal to a half, Sine the minus 1 over half will give you 30, which is actually pi on 6. Um, and that in that quadrant, it will be 30. In that one, it will be 180 minus 30, which is 150. So 150 is pi on 180, which equals, and 150 on 180 is 5 pi on 6. So it's going to be pi on 6 and 5 pi on 6. And now all I need to do is just times this by 6. If I times both of these by 6, then the 6s will go out. And I'll end up with pi t equals pi n 5 pi. And then if we divide everything by pi, I end up with t equals 1 and 5. So it's after 1 second and 5 seconds.